Hey guys, Chaz Pivot here with Baseball Bay, and Eric's obviously grown a lot over the last couple of months. We're really excited about his newfound height. What we're going to talk about today is how the way the front leg produces force directionally when hitting. So give me a little room here, and we're going to pan out and see where Eric's newfound height came from. And what we're going to see is a, de a slight depth jump. So what he's going to do, a depth jump, just demonstrate a regular two-footed or one-footed depth jump. There you go. So that's a depth jump, okay? And we see that a lot. Uh, on Twitter, on Instagram, people talking about absorbing force. The body can only exert as much force as it absorbs. All that stuff is, is pretty common. But if you do a depth jump and then jump straight up, go ahead. That's not really the direction or type of force that the body and the front leg uses when hitting. The front leg pushes back diagonally when hitting, and that's what we're going to talk about now. So this is a front leg depth jump with directional force application through the heel. So he's gonna do two or three of these, and on the second or third one, I want you to really zoom in and get his foot so he can see how his foot is interacting with the ground. Go ahead. Good. Now the key is we really wanna stay through the heel when we are doing this movement. We don't wanna push off the ball of the foot. We wanna stay more through the heel. So it's not gonna be a perfectly balanced thing, but he's gonna to try to land here, and drive through here to get all of his big muscles involved. And that is a directional depth jump for hitters.